false rock and the plant bromelias and everything into. I've used uh, about eight to nine shovelfuls of sand, uh, you know, reasonable plastering sand, with one tablespoon of black oxide, one tablespoon of brown, two tablespoons of yellow oxide, and about one and a half of cement. And then mix it up well into a sort of consistency that you would use as mortar between bricks and then plast it over the, the rocks that I've placed and then I'll leave it to sit for about uh, an hour and a half depending on how hot the day is I'll leave it for about an hour and a half let the water drain out of it let it set up a little bit and then we'll come back and we'll do the using a spoon and a house brush and we'll make it into a rock yeah, yeah. Piling it on. And then just push it around. And we'll want it about, about two, two to three inches thick. So that when you carve back in later on you you don't just hit the uh, concrete straight away. So And you want to try and make the tops of, if you've laid straight concrete, you know, broken up concrete at the top, you don't want it to end up all too straight. So, you know, it makes some lumps and, and bumps here and then. You can see up here, that's an example. See how it's very flat up there. I'm just going to put a, I'll put a pile of broken up concrete up there. And I'll join that to the rock behind, which I'll do later on. It also strengthens everything. There's no real need for to put wire and everything in it, but you can if you want to. Just push it all around a bit. Tap it so the cement comes to the surface. As long as you go over the edges, you fill it up with um potting mixture or whatever you're going to use, a bit of ground up bark, and you won't even see underneath the, uh, the piece of the concrete. Gives lots of nice habitat for lizards and everything too anyway, if you've got little gaps under there. So what we've got now is we've got about three hours has gone by quite a dull cold day so you know it's still pretty damp you want the, a lot of water to run out of it before you start carving otherwise the brush gets really wet and it's a brush that's really the important thing here you're just coming through and you're cutting with a knife or you can use a spoon if you want gouges so you want sort of random sort of gouges you don't want to make it look like polka dots you just come through and, and try and you know, there's lots of tooling marks and very straight edges, so we don't really want that. So come through, nice and jagged with the lines. You don't want to have anything too perfect, so make it a little bit more jagged. Then come down with the occasional one, and then get your house brush and very lightly go over it to start with, just taking off the the broken off bits and then start to just work through you can jab it's a good technique for sort of pushes it in a little bit helps to sort of squash the little holes in a little bit and make them look a little bit more natural so then you come back in and you just rework it a little bit here and there once you've done the first lot Try and get rid of most of the the uh, flaked off bits. Come through and make it a bit deeper. Try and sort of work off the bottom edge so it doesn't look just like a knife cut in there. See like that. Come down, scrape off the bottom edge, and then come back through with your brush. Brush off the excess broken off bits 
and then again, work over it again, soften down, jab, use whatever technique works for you, and keep tapping the hairs of the brush. The other thing you want to get rid of is the is any hand prints. You know, so I've gone over the whole thing first and just gone like this, right over the whole thing. Loosely, just getting rid of all of the hand prints, softening the the uh, sort of uh, how can you say the rough, the really rough look when you first slapping it on. You sort of see it there. So you know, let's go over it a few times, go in different directions. See how it just softens everything out. So you can see where I've left holes that go right through to the soil below. If you if you're building a you know, one out on these shelves of rock. You can always put a pipe through to behind if you can't, um, which helps with the drainage. Once you've you've gone through, just take out any excess that of the um, concrete dust that you've been brushing off because that'll set hard in there. So just take it out so you can see a bit of soil down there, and then you can plant up later on. Put a bit of potting mixture in there. Put bromeliads and a bit of mondo grass under here to make it look a lot more natural and then when we're finished we're going to put some oxides on to, to uh, make it look a little bit more weathered.